My name is Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to make cute St. Patrick's Day shamrocks. For this tutorial, you're going to need markers and pencil crayons. Let's get started. To begin our shamrock, we are going to be drawing a series of kind of like heart shapes. So over in the middle of your page, you're going to start off with drawing a curved line up and in, stopping as though you're doing almost like a half heart. Then up and down again. We're going to, going to do that two more times. So. Again, from one side, we're going to go out, around, and in, out, around, and in, and now one more time, out, around, and in, and just like that. We want to leave a bit of a space, so it's around the same width of my finger, and now that's going to be where we place our stem. So we're gonna do a long sweeping stem. Just like that. Next, we're gonna draw our shamrock's face. We're gonna give it a nice, happy open mouth. So straight line across, then draw a U. From the top corner, Curve line down. Use your same black marker, color in that darkness in the mouth. Okay. On either side, we're going to draw a circle for the eyes. In each circle, draw a larger circle, then draw two small circles. Next, we're gonna color in the eyes, being careful not to color those white areas. Look how cute that is already. All right, we're gonna give our shamrock kind of a little graffiti. We're gonna draw two clouds on its leaf. So using some curving lines to draw the clouds. Then we're gonna draw a nice big arch from one cloud to the next. And then we're gonna give it some stripes for the rainbow. Because it's tiny, it's going to be more of a modified rainbow because I'm not going to be able to fit all the colors. So we'll just do that. Okay, so we got our little rainbow there, uh, just chilling. I'm going to add a few little stars. This was not my original plan when I was thinking about this drawing, but right now I'm really digging some stars. So I'm just gonna add a couple stars here and there. I think I'm also gonna bring them to life. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and do what feels right. If there are details that you want to add to your own drawing at any time, feel free to add them. I'm gonna give these guys little eyes. This one can have a mouth because he's big enough. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna give our shamrock um, some little, a little friend. So his, this friend is gonna be a coin because it's St. Patrick's Day. 
So we're gonna give him a friend that is a golden coin, cause that's the friend that all Shamrocks ever dreamed of having. So here's his little friend coin. So we do a circle, and then I'm just gonna draw a parallel line on one side, and this is just gonna be the side of the coin. I'm gonna add little lines in there for the texture of the coin. I'm also gonna draw two oval shapes on the coin, and this is gonna be the coin's eyeballs. All coins need to look where they're going and at their friends who are shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. In the eye, I'm gonna draw one big circle and one small circle, and then I'm gonna color in the rest, just like we did on the eyes of that shamrock. Super cute. All right, this guy needs a cute little mouth, so draw a U and then another U. And now he has a cute little mouth. <laughs> Just like that. It's like literally the cutest gold coin you'll ever see. It's gonna be on your paper. All right, this guy needs to go somewhere. So we're gonna give him some legs. I'm not sure where he's gonna go when his friend doesn't have legs, the shamrock. He is just a stem, so maybe he's gonna have to do all the fun seeking for the both of them on St. Patrick's Day. All right, so he has his legs, this guy has his little rainbow, and right now they're floating in outer space, so we need to give them something to stand on. So we're gonna use our magical zigzag line, and we're gonna let it go crazy. And this is gonna make some grass. These are not your typical zigzag lines, these are Grass zigzag lines and grass zigzag lines are lines that kind of go all over the place to create some uneven grass texture. All right, this drawing is ready for some color. I am going to use markers and pencil crayons. You are going to pick whatever makes you happy for coloring. But if you want to use markers, that's cool too. You can go right ahead and join me as I begin to color this shamrock. All right, so I'm gonna begin off with coloring him green. Now I'm just using plain old mediums that you're gonna find everywhere. Kid-friendly mediums, washable. I'm not using anything fancy, so these are all mediums that you can get literally everywhere these days. And you can do the exact same thing at home. It's a great way to dive into the start of your creative journey. But at any time, if you feel like you wanna make a change, something inspires you, or you just feel like you're gonna experiment, you should definitely do that. Go with your gut instinct always when making art.
Okay, so we got that guy colored. I'm gonna dive into some other mediums such as some pencil crayons. So I'm just gonna use my pencil crayon. I'm gonna lightly uh, color in soft circles, meaning I'm not pressing hard. I just wanna add a bit of color here. So I'm gonna add some shading to these clouds to make them pop. Just coloring in circles. I'm going to, oh, I still need that blue. I knew I had one more thing to do. And that is, I'm gonna add just a bit of color in these eyes here. Coloring in circles. Nice and soft. There we go. So cute. Okay, I need a, <laughs> do some red marker for our tongue. Cool. Let's do some yellow marker for uh, these little stars here. That way they're nice and bright. So cute. All right, I I was not going to do him in marker, but I am because as I'm doing this, ideas are coming to me. And I have a good plan for this little guy and him too. Because right now we're coloring it, but it's still kind of flat. So we're gonna use our pencil crowns and uh, give it some highlights and lowlights and really bring it to life. That's what this is gonna be about. We're gonna bring this guy to life. All right, rainbow. How many colors do I got? One, two, three, four, five. All right. This is gonna be a basic rainbow. Basic. So we got our red. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange, yellow, green, blue. It's gonna be simple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. That's what I got for this guy. Man, these lids are really sticking. Very snappy lids today. There we go. One more. <laughs> awesome. We got a rainbow. Okay. We're gonna get on to some pencil crayon situations. Uh, before we start taking a look at low lights and highlights, we are definitely going to uh, shade or color our grass using our favorite green pencil crayon. We're just gonna press firmly along the edges and then as you get towards the center, you can just give it a light color. That way you have some uh, variety in value, which is going to help add some more texture and uh, realism to our piece. All right, so we got some of the darker values on. Add a little bit of a darker value under that stem there, and then we're just going to lightly shade, blend it together. All right, some of the important colors we're gonna use next. 
or not really colors at all, but we are going to use some white and some black. Uh, hmm. I actually do think I want to add a bit of a color. Brown. Why brown? Because I want to shade the side of this coin here. It's much too yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of shading along the edge here too with this brown. Just coloring super lightly because I don't want to make it too dark. And it won't be very gold, would it? All right, he got some shading. So now we're gonna use these two guys. I'm gonna begin with my highlights. All right, highlights. Okay, we're gonna add some highlights up here along the top. Again, coloring in our circles. That's gonna brighten up that green there. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Brightening up that green. Oh yes, loveliness. Check it out. Okay, so that's already adding some variety to our shamrock. And we're gonna do this in each petal or leaf. or section, whatever you want to call these parts. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white on here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but I'm just adding up a little bit of white so it just stands out just a little bit more and a little bit on that tongue as well. Just that it's shiny. I wonder if I can add a little bit on these eyes. I feel like it. I feel like that's a good idea. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We're gonna add just a little details like that. That looks awesome. I'm loving it. Oh yes. Good idea. Good idea, Ms. Artastic. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna take our black. Hmm. Okay processing this information in my head. All right, we're gonna do some soft circles around the eyeballs. So that way they kind of fall into the body and look more attached than just simply drawn on. So soft circles, blending them into the piece. Now we're no longer just making a coloring sheet for ourselves. We are making some art and this is the difference maker. We're not just coloring, we're increasing some value. And we are experimenting as we go. We're learning some skills, right? We're learning some shading. We got highlights happening. We are using our very simple materials, but we are making them work, right? For things at home or in your classroom. Okay, I'm also gonna shade the edges so that way we have a dark green along the edge. Medium value and we got light green now. Now he's beginning to pop because we are creating contrast. So cute. So what I've done on the stem here is I've highlighted one side of it and then I am adding the shadows on the other side and along the bottom. And I'm also going to add some shadows in the grass where the clover is. 
casting shadows and just underneath the gold coin here where he's casting a shadow on the grass as well. I'll just do a, a little bit of shading with this black around his eyes. So that way they too all feel a part of the piece. And it also increases the cuteness of this St. Patrick's Day art piece. Lovely. All right, well, that looks like we are done with this project. So there you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Artastic Nation. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to this channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, and shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.